Hi everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshri here. And today I'm going to discuss about Rahu's move to Bharani Nakshatra and how the results will play out for all of us, for all 12 zodiac signs. Now I have discussed in detail in my uh, June planetary transit video uh, about Rahu's move and the general impact. Please uh, refer back to that if you want to know in detail. Here in short, I would like to tell that on 14th, Rahu will move to Bharani Nakshatra and on 15th, it will form exact conjunction with Venus. Now, as we all know that Bharani is ruled by Venus and the deity is Yama, the god of death. This nakshatra signifies the strong sexual desires, creativity and obsession, death and transformation as well. So when Rahu comes here, all these aspects will amplify. Now in a nutshell, Rahu in Bharani will increase the hunger for materialistic achievements in people. People who have their birth moon or ascendant or Rahu itself placed in Bharani or are going through Mahadasha or Antardasha of Rahu, you are going to feel it more than others. Two important conjunctions are taking place during Rahu's stay in Bharani. One I have already discussed, that's Venus's conjunction. And the other one is Mars's conjunction with Rahu. And the trouble begins there. The bigger trouble begins there. Mars enters Aries on 27th June. As Mars and Rahu will come closer, volatility and aggression will increase. Third week of July to 10th of August will be quite crucial. Let us now see what will be the impact of Rahu in Bharani for all signs, all 12 zodiac signs. And here I'm not only going to discuss about the as per the signs, but also as per each nakshatra. And why as per nakshatra? Because Rahu being in Aries is changing nakshatra. So if you want to assess the true impact of uh, this change, you have to see it from the nakshatra level. So that's why I'm going one step deeper here. Let me now start with Aries. For Aries moon signs, if your birth nakshatra is Ashwini, Rahu is coming to your Sampattara. This will be a phase that can bring financial gains, prosperity and good fortune. You should try to utilize this phase till 20th February 2023. If you are born in Bharani, Rahu will come over your Janma or Birth Tara. You need to take good care of your health. Some amount of mental anxiety can also be there. For Kritika born Aries people, Rahu is coming to Atimitra Tara. This will give you gains and will also bring auspicious events in your life. Overall, it's a very good transit for Aries moon signs, except for Bharani born people. Taurus. For Kritika born Taurus signs, it's a positive transit of Rahu for you because it is coming to your Atimitra Tara. Prosperity and gains knock your door. However, your health will need some attention. If your birth nakshatra is Rohini, this transit is happening in your Mitra Tara. You will benefit from this transit. Gain of new friends or partners can be there. Overall, this will be a happy phase for you. For Taurus people whose birth nakshatra is Mregashira, Rahu is coming to your Vadhtara. This means that there can be closure of a chapter in your life or ending of a work. Health needs care. House position wise, Rahu is transiting from your 12th house. Overall, this is not a great transit for you. So your personal chart needs to be assessed to understand how this transit can impact you in totality. 
Gemini. For Mrigashira born Gemini people, Rahu is transiting through Vad Nakshatra. Like Taurus Mrigashira, for you as well, there will be ending of a work or closure of a chapter in life. However, since Rahu is transiting through your 11th house, the final result of such closures will be beneficial for you. You will see positive impact after Rahu moves to Ashwini in February 2023. For Ardra-born Gemini people, this transit is happening in the Sadhak Tara. Rahu here can bring achievements, fulfillment of aspirations and success. New connections, particularly foreign connections, will be helpful. This is a wonderful transit for you. For Punarvasu Nakshatra born Gemini people, Rahu is coming to your Pratyaritara. This can cause obstacles in your endeavors. However, since Rahu by position is sitting in the 11th house, these obstacles will ultimately bring positivity for you when Rahu will go to Ashwini in February 2023. Cancer for Punarvasu Nakshatra Cancer people, Rahu will move to your Pratyaritara, causing disruption and obstacles in your work. You may face high competition at work. Self-employed and business people need to be more careful. You should also take care of your social standing and reputation. For Pushya-born Cancer people, this is a positive transit. Rahu will transit to Shame Nakshatra. This can bring overall well-being and prosperity. Promotion at work, better social reputation, all of this can happen for you. For Aslesha born cancer people, Rahu is coming to your Vipattara. This can give adverse results to you. You need to take utmost care of your work situation. Also be careful of health. Leo. If you are born in Magha Nakshatra, Rahu will transit from your Sampattara. This is an excellent transit promising financial gains, prosperity and good fortune. You can gain from long travels. Gain from foreign connections will also be there. For Purba Falguni Nakshatra born people, Rahu will move to your Janmatara specifically in the 19th nakshatra or adhana nakshatra. Health and well-being is the focus of this transit. Do not ignore any health issues. Father's health will also need attention. For Uttar Falgani nakshatra born Leo people, Rahu is coming to the Atimitra Tara. Gains and auspicious events will happen in your life. For some of you, marriage prospects can be there, long distance travel can be there and that will bring gains. Virgo. If you are a Virgo born in Uttara Falgani Nakshatra, Rahu is coming to your Atimitra Tara. Housewise, Rahu is transiting through your 8th house. So this transit can bring better results for you in terms of gains from insurance and from family inheritance. However, be careful of the injuries and accidents. If you are born in Hasta, Rahu will transit to your Mitra Nakshatra. For you as well, this is a favorable transit. Happiness from spouse's family, gain from spouse can be there for you. For Chitra born Virgo people, Rahu will move to your Nidhanatara or Vadtara. Rahu by position being in your 8th house, you need to exercise caution related to your health and well-being. Injuries or surgery can be there too. Libra. Chitra born Libra people need to be careful of their health since Rahu will move to your Vadtara. If there are long-standing issues in the married life, or in business partnership, this transit can bring a closure for it for some of you. Spouse's health can also cause worry. If you are born in Swati Nakshatra, 
Rahu will move to your Sadhak Tara. In one word, this will give excellent results for you. This will be a phase of success and achievements in life. You will do very well in business. Marital relations will also improve. For Vishakha born Libra people, this phase can be a bit troublesome since Rahu will be in your Pratyari Tara. Obstacles in business or difficulties in marriage can be experienced. Enmity can be there. It would be a good idea to keep your ego under check. Scorpio If you are born in Vishakha of Scorpio, this transit of Rahu will happen in the Pratyari Tara for you. This can bring out harder competition for you. There will be opposition as well. Health issues can also trouble you. You may have to wade through some adverse situations. For Anuradha born Scorpio people, Rahu will move to the Shame Tara. This will be a phase of overall prosperity and good fortune. Your income will increase. Employed people will see growth. Health will improve for you and you will do well in competition and litigation. Jeshtha people needs to be careful in all aspects of life during this transit. Because Rahu will move to your Vipad Tara. And health needs attention. Try not to take or give loans during this time. Enemies may disturb you. Sagittarius Mula Nakshatra born Sagittarius people will experience excellent time in terms of finances and wealth generation because Rahu is moving to your Sampattara. This is a great time for materialistic growth, gains from investments or shares or speculation can be there. For Purvashara born people, Rahu will transit to your Karma Nakshatra, that is the 10th Nakshatra in your Janma Tara series. Here Rahu can bring change in your work in overall career path. Some ups and downs can be felt in profession and finance and this can add to mental stress. Some issues related to your children can bother you as well. For Uttarashara born Sagittarius people, Rahu will transit to your Atimitra nakshatra. This is overall a positive time for birth of a child, gains from investments and reputation. You will spend good times with your family and friends. Capricorn For Uttarashara and Shravana born Capricorn people, Rahu will transit to your Atimitra and Mitra Tara respectively. Both of you will benefit in property matters. Buying a new vehicle will also be good for you. Auspicious events can take place at home. Marriage or partnership is possible for some of you. For Dhanishta born Capricorn people, this transit is taking place in Nidhan Tara. There are possibilities that you may have to leave your home or homeland for some reason. Be careful while driving or using a vehicle. Mother's health can cause worry. Take care of your own health. Aquarius Dhanishta born Aquarius people will have Rahu in their Nidhanatara and have very strong chances of relocation or change of residence. If you have been thinking of winding up a work or a project or a relationship that is not really working out for you, this will be the phase when you are most likely to take a final decision. Shatavisha Nakshatra born Aquarius people can expect good results in their ventures. Your initiatives will bring achievements and success. Short travels can be there and these will be gainful. This is also a good time for people in media and advertising. For Purva Bhadrapada born Aquarius people, this phase will be in Pratyari Tara. Now, there can be obstacles in life and in work as well. 
try to avoid fights with others, particularly with your siblings and neighbors. Adverse situation can be there too. Pisces. For Purva Bhadrapada born Pisces people, some amount of adversity can be there. Monetary situation can cause worry and family fights or disputes can also be there. For Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra people, this transit of Rahu in Bharani will happen in Shema Nakshatra and this will bring positive results. Monetary situation will be better and in general life will take a positive turn for you. For Revati born people, Rahu will transit in the Vipattara. You may face obstacles in your achievements, family disputes and monetary worry can bother you as well. Do not ignore health issues. So for Pisces, this transit is not really too great. Uh, it's only the Uttar Bhadrapada Nakshatra people who are gaining something out of this. So I hope uh, this video has brought some uh, valuable information to you. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share the videos with friends and family. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.